Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Morning. I'm not going to talk about FM in Germany because I think that is quite well known. So I decided to talk about a global trend that is influencing and impacting FM independent of where you are located or how developed the country is. And that namely is uh, digitization. If we talk about digitization, there may be different uh, views. Usually the traditional one would be uh, what can we do to transform existing analog documents and material information into a digital format that a computer can read and uh, process but also the migration of traditional analog uh, business approaches uh, to set up really a digital business, a digital uh, marketplace. And I'm sure that FM will be influenced in a way so that we will have FM as a always on real time and information rich discipline in the future. But if we talk about Digitization, uh, digitization won't work without digital data. And that is usually effort and that costs also. So FMs should have uh, an idea on how to tackle this problem. We should be aware of what could be the possible uh, data sources like documents, real objects, processes, signals, uh, sounds and so on. We should uh, know what type of uh, interesting also new uh, digitization methods are available and finally uh, what uh, is the result of that data formats that are able to be exchanged between a variety of different IT uh, systems. So that is a very uh, interesting uh, part. Uh, if we look at the technologies around digitization, you will uh, see that there are uh, quite a number of passwords we know all the time. Building information, modeling, CAFM, IWMS systems, virtual reality, augmented reality is now really uh, coming up. IoT is a very big uh, issue together with the sensor networks involved with this uh, providing us with a, a digital uh, big data which we then analyze by using machine learning technology that's really new and very interesting stuff even gamification had made its way into uh, FM mobile devices are everywhere but to me the most important point is actually integration IT integration because uh, we can only uh, utilize those technologies to their full extent if we are able to integrate those uh, technologies. And if we are able to integrate, then we will always be able that there is a benefit uh, for our organization. So usually I say we don't ha only have to talk about technologies, we also have uh, to show how it works and to also to show that we are not talking about maybe the next five years, the technology is available and we can use it right now. And we did a very interesting experiment uh, two months ago at our FMIT conference in Frankfurt in, in Germany. Uh, we were uh, clustering together a number of different uh, software uh, providers and companies, a number of different technologies and we're integrating that into just one uh, uh, continuous workflow. That means starting with a 3D uh, data capturing by uh, 3D laser scanning, convert this data into a BIM model, then a number of uh, different uh, IWMS or CAFM system were taking up this uh, model, enriching it with additional information. We're adding technologies like mobile data capturing, like uh, IoT uh, sensors using different technologies like Wi-Fi and LoRa technology, which is a rather new technology. Cloud computing, at the end of the day, uh, adding some augmented reality application. And that was done within about maybe 90 uh, minutes and it was just working uh, perfectly. And it really uh, encouraged me to try additional of those uh, future labs. Uh, 
recommendations on digitization. If you really want to go this uh, way, you have to think about your digitization uh, strategy, also about how to provide uh, digital and virtual workplaces. You have to think about your uh, available uh, data and how to digitize that because that is usually a, a costly uh, process and also uh, education as the former speaker also mentioned uh, if you have a look at uh, the uh, curricula fm curricula around the world you will see in my opinion that technology it and these things are quite underrepresented so we have to think about this also uh, itfm uh, research needs some uh, more uh, effort and usually i say uh, it's time to uh, think about a transition from traditional information provision to real decision uh, support and finally, at the end, as was mentioned, we just issued together with our friends from uh, IFMA and participating uh, researchers from Europe and Northern America, a uh, new edition of this FM Sky to IT. So that might be helpful if you want to have a systematic introduction into the field of IT and digitization. Thank you very much. Thanks, Prof. Okay. And, uh